Stimulus checks are available for the low income and fixed income beneficiaries. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. All right, some surprising information was just released showing 10 million low income individuals, fixed income beneficiaries, and those people with no income who typically do not file a tax return are still eligible for stimulus checks. Now, this report was just released by the Government Accountability Office, and there is a deadline on this in order to claim the money. The deadline is coming up quickly and I want to point out all the details for you right here in the video because I completely understand money is very tight right now for the vast majority of people and I want to make sure that you can claim every last penny that you're eligible to receive. So let's get into it and talk about all this and the deadline is coming up relatively quickly here so I want to break it all down for you right here in this video. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the button right down below the video and as I am, your one and only daily advocate. I'm watching all this new information hitting the wire, the announcements, the updates, and anything else coming out right now, doing all the research on it, breaking it all down right here in these videos so you can stay updated with what's actually going on and how it's going to impact you, your money, your benefits, your lifestyle, your bank account. And of course, I also want to point out any new reports like what we're going to be talking about in this video, as well as anything pertaining to money, checks, raises to benefits, programs, stimulus, or anything else like this. I wanna make sure that you're staying updated because things are changing rapidly. And like I said a minute ago, I completely understand money is very, very tight right now, especially for the low income and fixed income beneficiaries. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. And also please remember, I will continue to be here for you right by your side every single day. That's my dedication. That's my commitment. And I truly want to help you out in any way that I possibly can. All right, let's jump into and talk about this. So like I said, this report was just released by the Government Accountability Office. Possibly the most shocking part of this report is that there's a government accountability office. I mean, seriously, let's be real for a second. They're actually accounting for taxpayer dollars. In this case, I want to point it out for you because they have reported 10 million people who are low income, fixed income beneficiaries, and those people who do not file a tax return because their income is low enough. Now, raise your hand if you're somebody who does not file a tax return. I know that the vast majority of you here in the community typically do not file a tax return. Now, of course, this does not apply to everybody. Everybody's situation is very different, but there's a lot of people out there who are low income and fixed income beneficiaries who simply don't file a tax return because your income is essentially zero after you apply the standard deduction, things like that. All of a sudden, your income is zeroed out, right? So if you were to file a tax return, there'd be nothing to file for, right? Your income would be zeroed out because of you know the different provisions out there. So as a result of that, many people don't file a tax return who are low income, no income. Obviously, if somebody's no income, there's no reason to file a tax return. Term. And if somebody's living on a fixed income, again, a lot of times tax returns are not filed. Well, unfortunately, just like always, these are the groups that were left out on stimulus checks. 10 million of these people still have not received stimulus checks. So I want to break this down for you because this is very important. And like I said, a very important timeline is coming up and you got to do something if you want to claim that money. So here's what it comes down to. November 15th is the deadline, okay? So according to this report out of the GAO, which stands for Government Accountability Office, has reported November 15th is the deadline. Now, however, before we get into this any further, I just want to say this much. This is not tax advice. This is not accounting advice. This is not advice in any way, shape, or form. I am not your accountant. I do not know your situation. Everybody's situation is very different. However, they did indicate the only way to claim the stimulus check now is by filing a tax return. They call it a simple tax return. Okay. So, um, you know, whatever, I mean, you know, go online, whatever you can file electronically. Basically a simple tax return would be if you're low income or no income, <laughs> it's just a bunch of zeros, right? So, I mean, that would be as probably as simple as it gets, but essentially what it comes down to is what they need to do is collect your personal information in order to get that check out to you, right? So a lot of times they'd be looking for your name, social security number, you know, address, banking information, stuff like that. So they can do direct deposits. Okay. Now, again, please do not leave any of that information down below in the comment section, believe it or not, over the last couple of years here. I've seen all that information down below in the comment section. Yes, I've seen social security numbers in the comment section. Please do not leave that information down below. It's not my business. I do not want to know that information about you and it's nobody else's business. If I see that information down below in the comment section, I will delete it, okay? That's nobody's information to know other than you, okay? So please do not leave that down below. Anyway, 
I just want to make that very clear because, you know, that's kind of scary. Please do not leave that personal information. I certainly do not want that, okay? So please don't leave it for me or for anybody else. Uh, but anyway, uh, so here's what it comes down to. If you have not received any of your stimulus checks, the $1,200 from 2020, the $600 in late 2020, or the uh, $1,400 in early 2021, please look into this a little bit further, okay? If you have not received a check, uh, you're probably eligible for it. Again, I don't know your exact situation, but if you're somebody who's low income or you're a fixed income beneficiary or you have no income, things like this, you're, pr I mean, the likelihood of you being eligible is very, very, very high, okay? You might be one of the 10 million people here that they're talking about that has not received a check yet, okay? So if you're one of those people, again, you probably just didn't receive a check simply because they didn't have your information, okay? That's probably why. In fact, in these reports that I've been reading about this, they said that the highest percentage of people that have been left out on stimulus checks, get this, homeless people. Why? Well, there's a few different reasons why. Number one, they don't have an address, right? In most cases, homeless people don't really have an, uh, an address that they, they report to. So that might be one reason. Secondly, they don't have the access to a computer or maybe the internet or things like that to actually file uh, maybe a simple tax return as they've indicated and or to actually register and make sure that that check is getting to them. So unfortunately, these people, you know, unfortunately are leaving out on a lot of money. 10 million people and let's just say a $1,400 check I didn't run the numbers on that, but that's, is that $14 billion? Uh, I'm not sure if that's 14 billion. Maybe it is. Maybe that's four, that's $14 billion, I think. Yeah. I don't know. When I add a lot of zeros like that, honestly, I get a little bit confused sometimes. I think that's $14 billion. If it's 10 million people and it's $1,400 a check, we're talking billions of dollars. I mean, seriously, that's a ton of money. And guess what? If you don't claim it, what happens to it? The nothing. They keep it. It just stays in like the, the government's, you know, coffers, right? So, uh, do you want it or do you want them to have it? Again, just saying right now, right? The money is available. There's no shortage of money. They're not going to run out of money, but the deadline is running close here. November 15th. Please, if you're somebody who has not received one of the checks, $1,200, $600, or the $1,400, if you have not received any of them or any one of them, doesn't really matter. Please look into it a little bit further. It's probably just a simple case where maybe they don't have your information. You might need to file a simple tax return like they've indicated, and then that's it. Just kind of wait for it, okay? Oh, one more thing as well. Um, so I've noticed this as well over the last couple of years here that we've been talking about all this stuff, and realistically, I've talked to a few people personally and tried to talk through situations like this, but they've also mentioned too that some people who are low income or no income or, like I mentioned, the homeless individuals who have not received these checks, in some instances, do not have traditional banking. Well, as a result of that, uh, they can't really send you a direct deposit. They can't send you a direct deposit into an account that doesn't exist. And then if they try to get you a paper check, a lot of times people that receive these paper checks don't have a way to cash them, right? So now you're sitting here with a check that's worth, say, $1,200, $600, or $1,400, and you can't do anything with it, right? Or you can maybe go to one of these places like you know, one of these cash, uh, ch uh, sorry, um, check cashing services, and they charge you 20% or some crazy amount just to cash your check, right? So that's been an instance that I've dealt with a lot here over the last couple of years, where many of you here in the community have reached out to me and said, I don't know what to do. I don't have a bank account. Um, I got a paper check in the mail. I have no clue what to do with it. Here I'm sitting here with $1,400 in my hand and it's in the form of a paper check and that I can't do anything with it. Yeah, so I've had that conversation with a number of people here on the channel. And again, unfortunately, in many cases, the only thing you can really do is go to one of these check cashing services and pay a huge, uh, a huge fee to get that check cashed. That's unfortunate, I mean, seriously. Um, yeah, but that's kind of one of the only options in a lot of cases. So this is what they're talking about right now. I want to point this out to you because this report was just released again out of the Government Accountability Office. If you want to look it up for yourself, feel free to look into it. Otherwise, remember, November 15th is the date that they have indicated you got to do something in, to, uh, in order to claim it. Otherwise, it might be gone and it might be gone forever. Okay, just want to point that out for you. So please look into it if this is your situation. And again, Everybody's situation is very different. I don't know your situation. So again, I can't really advise you specifically on what to do, but the best thing I can say to do is look into it. If you have not received these checks, do the necessary research. Seriously, it's totally worth your time. If you spend an hour or two online looking around, digging up additional information as far as what you gotta do, and if it's worth $1,200 or $1,400, 
it's probably worth your time, right? <laughs> $700 an hour for two hours of your time? Not bad. That's not bad uh, hourly you know, pay, right? Anyway, hope this video helps you out. Again, as I get it, uh, any other further information on anything going on right now, of course, I'll bring it to you in these short videos each and every day. I'm watching all these reports and new information hitting the wire, breaking it all down, and letting you know what's going on. So also, one quick side note, yes, the state of California did start sending out those golden, well, actually, they're not golden state stimulus checks. They uh, That was a couple years ago. Ago. These are the $1,050 checks that started going out on Friday of last week as well. So remember that as well. And if you're waiting for a paper check in the state of California, um, remember those will be going out between October 25th and December 1st. Um, so remember that as well. So that is just the state of California. These other 10 million people, this is all across the country. Literally, border to border, it's all the states for the 10 million. So hope that helps you out. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this. I really do appreciate it. Please subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out any of the other thousands and thousands of videos here on the channel. Until next time, enjoy your day, have a good one, and I'll catch you again later in the next